Every time I turn this thing on, it does something different. Turning up the voltage now. There's our 18 volts. Can you see all those green flashes in there coming off that copper tube? Okay, going back down to 12 volts. That's 12 volts right there. Still got a lot of copper flashes. Those flashes are nice and green in real life. Uh, okay, let's see how low we can go here. 8 volts. Uh, 5.9 volts right there. The MOSFETs don't really like switching at this low voltage, as you can imagine. The MOSFETs heat up, but uh, let's see, that's seven, seven and a half volts, 2.31 amps right there. Still getting a lot of copper flashes. Okay, go back up to 12 volts. Twelve volts, three point three point one amps input to the driver board. And that is psychedelic. Top view. We've got a huge thunderstorm overhead right now. I wonder if that has anything to do with this. Anyhow. Can you see that? That central sphere looks like the moon Leo. And the outer ring is sparkling and scintillating with green flashes. The central sphere is positive, the outer ring electrode is negative, and the input is uh, about 18 volts and about 4.5 amps. Looking straight down from above, obviously. The optical quality of this uh, sphere enclosure I'm using is not really very good, but uh, I think you can still get an idea of what's going on. This spot over here at the bottom left is a glare from one of my room lights. Let me turn that off. Okay. And that's a little glare there. Okay, so now all you're seeing now is all the light you're seeing now is coming from the apparatus. There's no room lights on. 
So you can see the green flashes that are coming off of the surface of the copper ring electrode. And then inside that you can see the grid pixels lighting up. Those are pixels made from the squares of the grid. And as you can see, they're giving us messages in some strange alien language. And then there's the central planetoid with the uh, volcanic plumes and the mottled surface appearance. Yeah, yeah. This bright spot at the lower left now is where the feed comes in that's supporting the ring electrode. Is this a UFO motor or what? Hyperspace communication device. All right, thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.